All right, so what we have here is we have the Samsung Odyssey G9 49 inch monitor. And in this video, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be unboxing this guy, setting it up and show it to you guys in case you're interested in something like this. And the reason I purchased this monitor is because what I wanna do is I want to replace the three monitor setup that I have right over here. And the reason I wanna do that is it's just gonna give me more space on the table. So the desk is gonna end up looking just like this, nice and clean set up with plenty of space. Or like this, if it's the nighttime with the ambient lighting in the back of the actual monitor. That ambient lighting is actually built in to the monitor. We're gonna talk about all that stuff, okay? So with one monitor, it's gonna be easier for me to manage my table and my cables. So first, let's unbox this and see exactly what's inside. All right, so let's cut this up over here. We have a tape. All right, so almost opened up. All right, so we have an installation guide. It wants two people to handle this monitor, so make sure you do that, all right? Uh, I'm gonna do it myself, but you can do it with two people just to be 100% safe. But you do get this installation guide with your purchase, uh, which is gonna give you step-by-step -step instructions, as you can see. All right, so that's great. That's the back part of the instruction manual. All right, so I just put this on the floor to make my life easier, but over here we have the cables and a user manual. We've got the stand, We've got the holder that's gonna hold the monitor, attach it to the stand. We have the monitor here. Let me pull everything out. I'm gonna show it to you nice and clean on the table. Okay, so these are the cables that come with the purchase of the monitor. That's the power supply cable. That's an HDMI cable, and that's a display port cable. So you get everything you need to get you started, especially if you're gonna be connecting this to a high-end custom-built PC. You've got all the cables to get you started and the power supply. I'm happy to see that we don't have a large fat brick. This is it. Of course, you also get an additional quick setup guide just to make your life easy. You get to see what components you're supposed to uh, have in the box. So that's great as well. All right, so these are all the components that you're gonna find in the box. So this is the arm, that's the stand. We have two caps over here with some screws, cap number one cap number two, and also another cap that's gonna to go to the back of the monitor. And just to give you an example, so basically this is gonna come here, okay? We have all the notches in place. That's gonna to stick to the actual monitor. And then the monitor, that's the back of the monitor. This way is the normal way you're gonna see it. Let's put it all together. I'm gonna to show it to you what it looks like. Like I said, all you wanna do is you wanna follow the quick instructions that was supplied with the monitor. So that will be the first step right here. You attach this to the stand. So you can see I removed the two other monitors. I put them here for now, but we now have space to work with. That's gonna be going in a couple of minutes as well. Now before you pull the monitor out of the box, Samsung wants you to actually connect the cables for easier cable management. So we're gonna do that right now. And I'll let you know, there's a power cable. We're gonna plug in the uh, HDMI in here, display port here, but we have two display ports. We have a two USB type C ports. So you can use this as a USB hub. So just be aware of all those ports. And like I said, we're gonna connect these cables before we remove it from the box. So all cables connected. And what you wanna do is you wanna squeeze all these cables and you're gonna route them through here. We're gonna put this black piece of cover on top to hide those cables like this all right let me do that be right back so everything snaps into place it's all sealed great cable management only three cables coming out of here yeah so it looks like the entire assembly is done while the monitor is still in the box so now what we're going to do is we're going to grab this thing that we uh, put together and look at that we're just going to slide it in there right there a little hard to see because it's black but when you slide it you tighten these screws, two on this side and two on this side. All right, so all the screws have been tightened and it's in here. That's what it's gonna look like so far. And finally, you take this piece and you split this in half, as you can see right here, and put it right there. So I'm gonna take this piece, you're gonna open it up, you're gonna put it there and just snap it together, okay? It's simply gonna be just like this. 
no big deal. So I put it in, it snaps into place, no big deal, like I said. Now one more thing you're gonna do for excellent cable management is here's a little thing right here. You push this down and you pull it up and then this whole thing comes off. And what you can do is you can take your three cables and you can route them through here, okay? They'll come out from the bottom here. It's gonna be excellent. It'll come right from here. So everything's gonna be hidden. Cover's gonna be on the top. You're not gonna see any cables anywhere. That's what it's gonna end up looking like, all right? All the cables are nice and hidden. All right, so we have the desk set up now. It's on the desk, everything is connected. And I'll let you know the reason I have it all the way up is to just to show you guys what it is capable of. So first and foremost, you can actually tilt this backwards or front. So it can go like this and this. Another thing, you can press it and it can go all the way down. Let me do the wide angle here. So look at that. I can push it all the way down. So it's highly adjustable. And finally, I can actually move it like this as well. So let's say I'm sitting a little bit over here, I can push it that way. Or if I move my chair over here, I can push it that way. So it is fully adjustable for all angles. So one of the reasons I purchased this monitor is to easily do multitasking without having to worry about three monitors. And that's easily doable. This is 49 inches. It's equal to two 27 inch monitors. So look, I got something over here. I got something over here. I can have another window over here. And it's just so easy to work with all these windows without having to deal with multiple monitors and also having to deal with the cables of each of those monitors. Just one cable, maximum workspace. So here's another scenario here. I could be working here and I could be browsing here, researching, writing scripts, or even reading a script while I'm actually making the video. So another scenario, these are like two huge monitors with full continuity. If I was editing just one video, look at the way it looks. I can just edit a video and I have all this timeline at the bottom to work with and make my life easy. Yeah, so this is absolutely crazy. I love the fact that I have all this space here now. Instead of the monitors taking up that space, I can put things here. I already have a little MacBook right here that I will also connect to the monitor. Okay, so I can switch back and forth based on the workflow. Now, what if you want to play a game? That's not going to be a problem. This monitor is intended for gaming. So again, 49 inches QLED technology, which brightens up every single pixel on the display. It does use that quantum dot technology that you have probably heard about before and just looks really high quality. So if I were to come to the edges here, you can see we don't have any weird lighting artifacts on the edges of the display. It's my first day with the monitor, so I'm not sure what's gonna happen in a couple of months, but for now, it looks absolutely stunning. There's no question about that. And I will let you know, the thing actually has 240 Hertz display refresh rate. So as you game, it's gonna be smooth as butter. And of course, the response time is only one milliseconds. For a monitor this large to have one milliseconds response time and 240 hertz display refresh rate, it is stunning. And of course, that's why it's an expensive monitor, but it seems that it's worth every penny, at least for now. I'll probably do a long-term update to see if it holds up. Uh, and the best part is we do have the NVIDIA G-Sync technology. And of course, we also have FreeSync Premium Pro support as well. So you're not gonna be getting any dropped frames as you're playing games on this monitor. Now, the maximum resolution that this monitor is capable of is 5120 by 1440, which is gonna be super sharp. And one thing I love about this monitor is the fact that there is no reflection off of the screen, as you can see. Okay, so I hate those displays that have, you can see yourself in the display, not with this one, no reflection on the display. That is gonna be fantastic. Well, the monitor does have a very nice menu. So at the bottom here, let me just zoom in over here, we have a power button. And what you can do is if you double press the power button, it brings up the menu. And then you can use the little joystick to go back and forth, left, right, up and down. You will go to the menu and that's what you get. Gives you a nice little summary on the top. All right. I wish it was a touchscreen, but it's not. 
So, but the joystick is very easy to use. So look, we have the game. We can pick up the refresh rates as we desire. Equalizer, we have the adaptive sync, and we even have the virtual aim point. It tells you what it is right here. Picture mode is custom. And let's see what else we have. So if I go back, I can go here, look at that. I can go from high bright, FPS, RTS. All these modes are available for you uh, to pick from based on the activity that you're performing. I have it on custom right now. Uh, whatever values they have, they're right here. So you can change all these values, obviously. You just go inside, you click it, and you change what you want, okay? And then let's see what else we have. We have the PIP option. I'm going to talk about that in a minute. You can have two inputs running at the same time. So half of it could be my Windows. The other half could be an Xbox, a PlayStation, whatever, at the same time, okay? Uh, we have the on-screen display, which is this one. It's customizable a little bit. We got the system, all right? So we have the Infinity Core lighting. That's the LED that's on the back of the display that you can customize. Right now it's running, but because there's light in the room, you cannot see it. I'll show it to you. Uh, we got the volume, dynamic contrast. All these options are in here, easy to use under this menu. All righty. So the monitor does. So the monitor does have built-in lighting in the back of it. You can see it's actually coming from here in the back of it. I'm going to show you the uh, various options, but right now it is changing colors and giving me a nice and beautiful effect as a reflection on the backdrop right over there. So right now the office lights are closed and the RGB is working. It's even reflecting to the wall. So everything just looks amazing in the office. Uh, right now I have the breathing effect, but you can always go to the menu and modify the effect to be different things. So to modify your LEDs, you double press the button here, you go into menu, and all you do is you go into picture, go down all the way to the system, and it's known as the infinity core lighting. And when you click it, uh, you can turn it on or off, and also you can pick from various different lighting effects. That's going to be uh, up to you. And if you, for example, go with the static, you can pick any color that you want from this color palette. So that's it for the infinity core lighting. So let's say I want to use two things at the same time. Let's say I want to use this part just for the windows and this part for another input. All you do is you press on this button. All right. You bring up menu. And then you go to uh, PIP and you say, turn on the PIP and look at what happens. So the window is going to appear right here. And if I attach any other device, so the HDMI or the, or the display port input, that's going to show up right here. And like I said, that could be anything. It's asking me to do something right now. There's no signal, but you get the idea. You can have two different separate devices attached to this monitor at the same time. And that is great. All right, so that's basically all I wanted to cover in this video in regards to this monitor. So I purchased this for gaming, for an immersive experience, and of course, for multitasking and for video editing. And so far, I am really satisfied with this product. It is a do-it-all product at high levels of quality. Now, if there's any problems, I'll make a follow-up video and let you guys know. But so far, I have not seen any problems performs, works super fast, great for gaming, great for working. The price is high, but I think it's worth it. So if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below. Let me know for now, guys. Have a fantastic day, all right?